as you guys always know, we try to choose stuff that is effective for the whole floor, not just for this one. And for right now, character dashing is going to be the one that we're going to be going with. All right, let's go ahead and start. Ah, these are all pyro. Come on, three now. Go through. And then we're going to have the electric mom. Shine down. Some booty. Now you shall perish. Let's have the animal character come and pull us through just a little bit. We got this. We got the uh, nice uh, 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 pyro slimes. We got a little pyro slimes. We got the churros. Where's the electron? Come on, electron. Come through. Come through. Come on. There is no Steve escape. Guy, yeah. All right, electron. Come on, I see. Born to oblivion. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Animal testing. F them up. And F them up, she did. So we got through floor three, chamber one, like butter. We're now at floor three, chamber two. One more time, elemental skill damage will always be tops. Okay, you will always want to pick elemental skill damage over everything else. I don't claim to be an expert in Genshin, but from what I've seen, all the other popular YouTubers uh, say do in common. Elemental damage seems to be the absolute way to go. Again, we the animal. Come on, Shikos. Let it fly through. Let's see. Let's go Shang Ling. It's going to do elemental skill. Let's pop out Goba. Let's pop out Goba. Come on. Skill. Alright. F the mop. Let's go Shang Done. So what we're going to do character elemental burst damage by 20%. And let's continue. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Swing it through. Oh, well, that was Fiorina. I'm not even embarrassed about finishing first. Holy cow, like, I'm proud of finishing fast. 